there by the players. Tyreek Hill, so you're telling me Kansas City's better without the best yeah, player in the league? Year. And what has Miami done Mahomes, with them? Mahomes is the best player in the league. You know, I, I, I think Mahomes is the exception to the rule of, is. of pretty much everything. You got Mahomes, and then there's nobody close. And Mahomes can take basically average guys and make them better. Uh, yeah. he, he's just that good. And look, he guys won three Super Bowls already. I, 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 I can't say anything bad about him. And the four. But I, you know, yeah. I mean, but. I don't think there's anybody else in the league that can do that. I, I do think Josh Allen, extremely talented. And uh, maybe, you know, maybe I, I don't believe Josh Allen's a choke or anything. I think that playoff game where it was him and Mahomes going back and forth showed me he can win in a big game. But, um, you know, that team, we'll see what, what they do. Uh, well, they got I a mean, big schedule I, I coming up. Big I think oh, other guys. Can, can I interject I think other for a second? Quarterbacks need talent around them. Can, can I, I interject for talent. a second? Yeah. See, here's the reality of football. You know, we all want to be able to say that you have one guy that can do it or that it's just the quarterback. The reality is, is you got to be balanced across the board. You can't be top heavy at one spot. The best thing you could do is make it so that way all of these guys are nonchalant like Josh Allen is right now because there's not one guy to stop. Teams know if I stop um, CeeDee Lamb, there's nobody else that's going to beat us. We had literally C.D. Lamb with a thousand yards more than anybody else. You don't have a running game. You don't have anybody else. If like we can focus on one guy, and that's the thing that works good for your Eagles. Although you have to worry about it with A.J. Brown. Is now oh. you've got a running game with Saquon who can't yep, catch. That's right. You've got Devonte. You've got hey, Dallas Mark, Goddard. You can move the Mark, ball around. There's not one guy to stop. Mark, the best thing ever happened to the Eagles is that A.J. got hurt. It will teach them. You know why? Yeah. Right. What you're doing is establishing a role early. We know what A.J. Yeah. can do, right? Do you know how good this fucking team will be? When he like comes back. Can, yeah. When he comes back and they have already established. I mean, think about it, Philly. You're establishing a role. At the beginning of the year, everyone was like, what is his role going to actually be? Are you going to give him 20 carries? Are you going to do this? Now you know what this guy's role is. On this offense, and when you put – hey, I've got to tell you something, my guy. You bet. You better go to that pint now, man, because I'm going to tell you something. I killed the when bottle. AJ comes back and Devontae comes back, and they have to find a role for Barkley, and he's not hurt, you're going to be whiskey – hey, you're going to be whiskey Jimmy. Ooh, right. Because they're going to be a scary right. team. That's can, why you got Can we get a rum sponsor, AJ, sponsor in here? <laughs> no, man, you're getting That's the fuck why. out of here, all of you. Hey, hey, listen, you two guys were sensational today. I mean, absolutely great. I'll tell you why. And I, hey, Mark, I got to hand it to you, man. Way, way to go to the walk of shame. Your Cowboys better win that giant game, man, or guess what? You, you, you know, know what? The, greatest, greatest thing? the Cowboys losing is the greatest content on the planet. The Cowboys winning? Hold on. I don't know. Hold on. You know okay? what? No, no, no. I got some shit to say to you fucking Eagles right now. I got some shit to say right now. There are 604 people in here in Dan Salio's show walking me, watching me do the fucking walk of shame. And there's only 221 likes? Y'all are a piece of shit. You should be <laughs> loving this damn show and be thankful that Dan Salio literally talked about who the hell is Mark Holmes to bring him in here. If you do not get these likes over 500 people, you ain't shit. I believe you were wearing your grandma's panties or something. And like that's that. all yeah, I have to panties. say about no, that. No, wife's panties. Wife's panties. Wife's panties. Wife's yeah, panties. Mark, yeah, keep, poor Mark. Mark's, uh, I don't think he's going to make it to this year. It, it, I might on not. The verge of a breakdown. Do they I, win? I, I, do they win on Sunday finally, Philly, against the Bucks? I think they're going to pull out a close one, like another 15-12 type game. <laughs> I think it's going to be a low-scoring game, I, and, and I think it's going back and forth. I think they're going to win, and I think I think the reason again is going to be Jalen Carter. I think Jalen Carter another big game. You know, the one thing about the Buccaneers is they've given up twelve sacks in like yeah. they're they're, like they're middle of the road with with statistics so, all over the place. So maybe we could get our you know if if Jalen Carter and Davis play the way they did, I think we're going to win this game. But as long as they um, don't play gonna, like Mozzie Smith, they're good. That's all no, I give. You, you got to use Barkley though too. Hey, uh, Mark. Course. Yeah, your, your Cowboys win tomorrow, right? At the Meadowlands, <laughs> they win, right? Oh, oh my God! 
Yeah, yeah, we we get a win. Holy cow, he's got to take a shot of courage before he, he ends up. We're this gonna guy's got to no. take a shot we, we, of fucking courage. We have to get a win or else I'm going to be missing in action. I, 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 that's that's all <laughs> well, I can say. You got, is I mean, I mean, we, you we got, have to find a way to get a win. Coming up. We got to find a way. They got a schedule coming up. They got to yeah. win this game. They got Pittsburgh it, right it, now. Here, here, the reality is this. You got the Falcons. If the Cowboys can get. If the Cowboys can get a win here, you get a little bit of a breather, okay? Mini bye week because it is a Thursday night game. You've got the Steelers. I don't know that the Steelers are that great, but maybe we go ahead and get Deron Bland back, and maybe we luck out and get a win there. The thing is, is through this rough stretch, the Cowboys have to be 500. We have to be 4-4. Mark, and four Mark better build the time eight. machine because, because he's got a problem. They don't have a running hey, back. And, hey, oh, I, I, I can't even, agree I, with can't disagree with that. Where's Dalvin Cook? But, Didn't you sign Cook? Oh my God! Don't don't don't. Why is wh- he? Wh- on? Wh- you're like sticking needles in my neck hey. here, bro. It, it's hey. it's crazy every week. Well, you, you know, really, we you we, we ain't gonna bring that? Dalvin Cook back just yet. You, you want, know, we're we're gonna wait. What's that? What the I do. Fuck is that they shit? haven't won multiple playoff games. Oh Jesus Christ! Any respected year in twenty nine years. Damn, oh my fuck God. you, man. So beautiful. 29 years they haven't won multiple <sighs> playoff games in one year. And at this rate, it's going to be another 29. Because Jerry Jones ain't going to live for at least well, he ain't 100, living that 100 long. years. Oh, are you, are you y'all having 12, fun here? The guy's already 12,000 years old. Are you right having now. fun here he, at my behalf? Now I am. Now I am. I'm having are, are, okay. <laughs> you know, that, that's your boy, Stephen Jones. <laughs> you know, they're the ones I that brought Jerry us Jones. this shit here, okay? They're the ones that said we can do more with less. Okay. Well, they're, they're, and now you have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one taking the shots for the damn Cowboys and their aptitude. The best. While I'm getting laughed at by Dallas the Eagles. Cowboy, the best Dallas Cowboys show in the city of Dallas goes to Mark Holmes. I will give that to you because those radio shows blow out loud. Believe me, they're all knee scrapers in that town. Always. <laughs> Kissing up to Jerry and you guys, I love what you guys do because you speak it from your heart. Mark, Mark thanks so much. He always shows up, man. Hey, he shows by up. the I way, dude, kudos. You're one and two. Act like it. You're not fucking one yeah, and it's seven. Yeah, not over. No, tomorrow you start panicking. Bad <laughs> you, know, you know why? Okay. You know why? I feel Philly? so much he better. Thank you. Hey, remember when? Y- remember when? Um, Dak Holmes over here was going like this after the Cleveland game. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Now look I know. Him. And then the yeah, Giants I, beat I the Cleveland of, Browns. I keep thinking about last week when he came <laughs> on all happy. He was so happy after a yeah, he was happy because the Eagles got murdered. Because the Eagles oh, didn't care. Now it's different. Me. But I think, I think they lose tomorrow. I, I, I do. I think I have a weird feeling the Giants are going to win this game. He's bet on um, bet U.S. on a C note that the Cowboys. I did. I already bet it. I bet it, Sills. Hey, Sills, I bet 250 last week on Baltimore. And the over, I took Baltimore and the over because there's like there's nice. no way they're going on three. Oh, they had a big hit, baby. I'm on a roll. So Giants money line and the over tomorrow. Giants gonna win. Daniel Jones is gonna tear it up. Okay. Mark's gonna be tearing them glizzies up. See, this is Get this them is the rock ready, stuff. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna need the rock stuff after this. this I, I, I think I need to go to the liquor store before tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I need hey, to do. Hey, guys, you guys were great. Philly, tell them where they can find you, you, please. Just type in Philly 500 or, uh, you know, something about Mark Holmes. I'm sure I'll come up there, too, since I'm on his show, like, every night anyways. He plays clips of me constantly. Hey, Mark, other folks can find you. So thank you very much. If the Cowboys lose to the Giants, it'll be in the gutter. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay. but other than that guys, cowboy joe boo or it. joe boo sports report we appreciate you dan us. and get them damn likes up you loser ass eagle fans there you go there you go that's how you deal with it Way to sorry go. ass you guys. Beach Peace. you got it man thank you guys very good great stuff as always i gotta <sighs> hand it to mark man really awesome guys, that was stepping hard. Up here. xander let's do this before we take the time out here man Let's get all these super chats up here too. You guys were fantastic. That was hard. I would like to see how he trade for Trey Hendrickson. I'm not sure he would do that because how he's ego Let will get, get in the way. Absolutely, because you spent 51 million. How bad is it that I have to listen to the Eagles to have to pump us up and say the season's not over? 
this sucks, guys. This sucks. We, 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 we have to find a way to win somehow, some way. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I think they actually felt sorry for me because they could have dogged me even more, and divert, de, de, deservingly so. We suck. We literally suck. The fact that Cop Pizzle, with the New York Giants after paying Daniel Jones $40 million, has any, any right to try and troll us is a damn embarrassment and a shame. And I have been one who has been here with the Cowboys trying to, damn. You hear that? Still pretty solid for an old guy. Okay, pump you up about the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm I, I feel that I've cheated you guys and have bullshitted you to tell you that this is a good team. And right now, the Dallas Cowboys are not a good team. We are not doing the fundamentals right. We're not getting the right angles. We're not getting the right angles of pursuit. We are not lining up correctly. We are not functioning like an NFL team. The fact that we had Baltimore literally line up in 22 personnel, and if you don't understand what 22 personnel is, that's two tight ends and two running backs, which is typically a formation that is a short yardage running formation. There's, you really don't have wide receivers. This is saying, listen, we're running the ball right here, and we dare you to stop us. I remember being in high school, and um, this week is my 40th high school reunion, and it's amazing that this time has flown by that quickly. My 40th high school reunion, unfortunately, we're supposed to get like an inch and a half of rain on Friday, which is homecoming where the parade is in the afternoon and then the high school game and then a meetup at uh, Vienna Inn. But I remember us playing against Washington Lee High School. WNL High School, we won 40, I'm sorry, 74-14. We literally got to the line of scrimmage and we said, we're running right here. Here's where the ball is coming. We told, I'm, I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. And we ran the ball right there. That is what the Baltimore Ravens did. We're at the end of the line, Mark. We are cooked. And for the Cowboy players to be NFL players, Walker Wade, there's still time to turn this thing around. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready yet. I tell you what, Walker Wade, if we get Molly Wap tomorrow, then it's over. Then it's over. Appreciate the Super Chat. It's a party now. But for NFL players to get beat like that, sorry, you got no balls. You got no balls. Maybe Jerry Jones was looking at the stick and not with the – the, the, the balls to go with it. Maybe he needs to look at the balls to go with it as well, but that, that ain't that ain't it, bro. We have to man the hell up and realize that everybody is coming for our jugular. Now, I am a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan, and I just took a whole lot of shit defending these Cowboys. I go to the mat for him. I love him. I hope for him. I pray for him. I, I, I believe in him. I spend every freaking day talking about him. I spend the day before buying shit so that way I can have a party to watch them. And I need to see these guys show me that they have some gonads, some cojones, some wavels, and that they aren't there to just roll over and die and get your check on Monday. That's what I hope. Going to any games this season, I'm supposed to go to the Eagles versus the Cowboys in Dallas um, and then do a tailgate in Washington. Um, so there's that. Anyway, the Cowboys have just 
made another fool out of me with this live stream. Let me say from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here and supporting me as I did the walk of shame for the Dallas Cowboys that literally looked like some bullshit. I appreciate y'all. And uh, got to go to Charlottesville. I think I'm going to let my wife drive. I think I'm going to let my wife drive to Charlottesville and pick up some stuff so I can help out my brother-in-law get his internet working. As always, I appreciate you guys and um, all you Eagle fans that are in here trashing me. I want you to take note of something. I want you to take note. If you talk the talk, if you come in here right now and you troll me at my rock bottom because the Cowboys suck, when your team sucks, and it will, trust me, it will, don't disappear because I came here like a man and showed up. Don't be that fair weather fan that only shows up when the good times are there. And Eagle fans, shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of shut fuck mountain where there are no more fuck ups to shut.